our church. Welcome back to another segment of Dinner with Dr. Daniel. Today we are going to make a crab salad. Again, summertime, simple, easy, little prep work. Um, no need to light a stove or heat the oven and just as delicious and healthy. I'm going to start today with a little Cabernet, the Stag Cabernet Sauvignon. And I have my little aerator on top of it today. Kind of open up the cabs. They're a heavier blend of grape. Love this thing. However, I typically don't do cabs when I do seafood. But today we're going to switch it up. It's got a kick. It's got a kick. All right, so let's get started. What I have, oh, wait a minute, one moment. What I have for us today is some um, crab meat, real crab meat. I get this from Sprouts, and it looks like this. When you take it outside of the container, you want to make sure that you rinse it off several times and drain it. We are also going to have um, one celery stalk, which you cut up in a pretty decent size, maybe like one eighth of an inch. Enough to give you a crunch in your salad, but just not to overwhelm the taste. Also have um, about a teaspoon of the tarragon leaves. So you just kind of take the leaves off and then I take one of my kitchen scissors kitchen shears, I guess, and then I cut it that way because it's so fine. It's hard to cut with a knife, but if you have kitchen shears, you can use that to cut it up. You need about a teaspoon of that. And then if you like, you could add chives to this. I'm not really into chives, so I'm excluding that from my salad, but if you like chives, I'd say maybe about four teaspoons of chives, or depending on what you want to do for taste. And then we're going to also use some mayo, about a third of a cup of mayo. We have here some vegan mayo, so it has no egg or dairy in it, vegan mayo. And then um, you wanna have about three tablespoons of sour cream. And again, we're using vegan sour cream, no dairy associated with that. So just drop a little bit. And then we're going to have um, just a half teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Just enough to give it a little bit of spice, but not to overwhelm the flavor. And then lastly, we're gonna do about a teaspoon of fresh lemon. And I like to do it this way, but you can do lemon juice already in the bottle or a little squirt bottle that normally comes in the store. You can do it that way if this is a little bit too redundant for you. So a half teaspoon should be maybe just about a half of the lemon. And so you get all of that meat out of there. And it should give you about a half teaspoon. Actually, probably a little bit more than a half teaspoon. All right. We don't have D-Nice on today, but we have a nice jazz soothing music playing in the background. Now we're gonna mix this up separately. First, we're gonna mix our dry products. Um, so we're gonna use our crab meat here. And you might wanna kind of just make sure that it's chopped up evenly because some of it is lumped in there. But we don't wanna have huge chunks of crab meat in our crab salad. I'm just gonna make sure that it's all chopped up nicely and uniform. Perfect. And then I'm going to add my celery. Here, my spoon. Sorry. Add the celery and then the tarragon. 
that's what I mean by like dry products first. All right. And then you just kind of want to toss that together. And you should smell all of those flavors coming out. You should smell the celery, the tarragon, and of course the crab. Get this out of the way. And then in a smaller bowl, we're gonna do our wet products. So let's start with three tablespoons of the sour cream. friends like myself where you're not doing dairy but you are enjoying some seafood every now and then you would use that and then lastly you want to just put in a smidget half teaspoon of your mustard and that should be just enough to just give it a little bit of color but it should not turn it yellow see it's still for the most part not yellow you don't want it to be yellow unless you were just a fan of Dijon mustard. You wanna get that mixed in there. Once that's all in there, I'm going to coat my mixture here with the crab meat with my lemon. And that's good because it sometimes will take the fishiness out of seafood that can sometimes occur in a, sal a seafood salad. Okay. And then I simply just want to add this mixture together. This is really simple and easy. Not a lot of prep work. Not a lot of preparation behind it. No need for the oven. Delicious, enough for several, maybe about four or five servings, depending on how hungry the individuals are. I'm just gonna give that a really good mix until everything is pretty coated with your mayo and your sour cream. Now, if you're not vegan, or pescatarian, I'm sorry, so let me stop saying vegan. If you're not pescatarian, by all means, use regular mayo, use regular sour cream, whatever your taste is. And then you wanna make sure that that's all mixed up. Nice consistency, everything's coated. Once you do that, let's get this out of the way. You want to add a little salt and pepper to taste. Again, I'm using the pink Himalayan salt. And I'm going to put a little bit of coarse ground pepper there. Get a little fork just to give it a little taste of roux. Because again, it's to taste. until you're ready to serve. However, we're gonna serve right away today. So let's do that. If you remember, you can get those nice little brioche rolls or whatever you decide to put your crab salad on. You can eat it like this and with simply with some crackers or on a roll, like a, you know how you have a lobster roll? You could have a crab roll. Get the little cute little 
brioche rolls, put your crab salad inside of it. Today, I'm actually gonna use some butter lettuce and I'm going to eat it in some butter lettuce. So I'm gonna take it, put one dab in there, one tablespoon in that one, area and we're done this is our crab salad simple easy no heat in the house required let's give it a taste church Celery gives it a really nice crunch. Finishes out the flavor. I definitely taste the tarragon. Depending on how much you like tarragon, you might want to do a little bit more than a half teaspoon, but, <clears throat> excuse me, a teaspoon, I'm sorry. You might even want to put two teaspoons, but probably might could have added a little more tarragon, but other than that, I love it. So thank you again for your time and attention. I pray all is well and everyone is healthy and safe. Please remember to drink plenty of water during the summer months. I know there's times where you might not feel like you are perspiring because you're indoors in the air conditioning, but it is still warm outside and there is evaporation of water coming from your body. So please make sure that you increase your normal water intake during this time period. Make sure you get plenty of sleep. Sleep is important to boost your immune system and eat as healthy as possible because that too will reduce the inflammation in your body and make you healthier overall. We need to keep our immune system as healthy as possible as we go through this pandemic. But we're gonna get there. We're gonna get out of this craziness and get back to a new normal maybe a more cautious normal, but definitely a healthier and more aware normal. So enjoy your week. And until we meet again, enjoy a little red wine and delicious food. Take care, church. Salud.